everyone welcome to my channel advice to think twice i'm here with your july mid monthlies this is for libra sun and rising venus keep an open mind the messages could be vice versa watch all your signs and what else right i'm running a special price reading so if you're interested in that or any other type of private reading the information is in the description box below okay libra let's get to your reading I don't like long intros, so I just try to give you the basic information you need, basically, okay? If, if you're new to my channel. If not, you already know it. <laughs> so, Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You have the opportunity to go from being solo to being part of a team, part of a couple, part of a group. Ten of Wands, you may be struggling with it. The world, you'll like things done just right, just so. You might be struggling with relinquishing control. Nothing wrong with that, we all do, when we're perfectionists. Eight of Pentacles, you're definitely starting something new, but you have to be part of a team. You're not exactly happy about it, but I feel like if you give it a chance, it will work out for you. Queen of Wands because everyone has the same intentions as you do. So I feel like this is a lesson in trusting other people. So we have the Strength card. Now the Strength card here, it can be a Leo that's significant with the Queen of Wands here as well. So Leo, Aries, Sag. But I also feel like this is where we try to control our impulses. We try to control our initial reactions and really think it through. Um, or just control in general. We're struggling to relinquish control. We're struggling to trust other people um, that they will do the right thing or they will do what needs to be done um, in terms of what we think needs to be done. The Hierophant, we're struggling to conform. We're struggling to work with other people. We're struggling to be a team player um, because we're used to being on our own and working on our own and you know not needing anyone else because you don't really. But this is a dynamic where you have a chance at something but you just have to work with other people um it's completely optional though if you wanted to you can if not you can just be on your own you might um encounter some obstacles but i feel like you can overcome them if you really don't want to be part of a team so the nine of pentacles and the ten of wands the the burden is you're happy on your own the burden is you've been doing fine on your own um, or more than fine, okay, with that Nine of Pentacles there. And um, for others, you've been doing well on your own, but there's you've taken on more than you can handle, so you might have to delegate or work with other people, ask for help, and maybe that's what you're struggling with. The Hermit and the World card, I do feel like the time of you being on your own is coming to an end, whether that is within work circumstance, business finance, uh, or love life. Okay, I feel that you have gone within, figured it out, uh, found a way to be happy and fulfilled and not need anyone else, okay, on your own. Be on your own, be happy. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But for whatever reason, you either have the opportunity to uh, be part of a team or a couple now, and it's up to you to decide if you actually want to do that, or external circumstances are such that you one of your options the easiest option the quickest solution would come from working with other people as well but then you might be struggling with trusting these other people or trusting a group dynamic because again you've been used to being on your own for so long okay it's completely natural you do have the opportunity i feel like if you wanted to be on your own you could, you could work on this by yourself. You would have to uh, struggle a little bit. You'd have to uh, overcome obstacles. And obviously when you're by yourself, it, it takes more out of you. But I feel you could if you wanted to. Alternatively, you can work as part of a team, take off the pressure and reach your goal faster and um, easier. Okay, because you would be working on a part of the, the, the situation, not the whole thing. So that would speed things up and it would make things a little bit easier for you if you wanted to. 
Four of Pentacles, you're struggling with letting go of control. You're struggling with trusting other people with your goal. You're struggling with trusting other people to, um, you know, work towards the same thing you're working towards. There's definitely um, trust issues here and fear in uh, relinquishing control. But I feel like you're trying to fight yourself on this as well. You're trying to tell yourself that it's fine. It will be okay. I feel like you're aware you have these trust issues and you're trying to control them, you know? And then we do have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So this is success. This is um, reaching your goal. This is overflowing resources and rewards. And if you wanted to, you could go back to working on your own and being self-sufficient and independent. But I do feel like you will have made some important contacts by the end of the day, okay? Or by the end of the situation, whatever the goal, the task, the project is. So basically, your choice is, do you wanna keep at it by yourself? Or do you wanna take a chance and letting other people jump in and work with you? That's your choice. Um, for others of you, yeah, for those of you, I feel like, especially if you own your own business, if you're the entrepreneur and you're used to calling the shots because obviously it's your business, um, I feel like you might be temporarily partnering up with someone. There's some sort of collaboration that is possible here that will um, that would boost your um, finances, boost your uh, reputation, boost your reach. But again, it's completely up to you if you want to take the opportunity or not but I do feel like it's a bit of a helping hand okay because again it would be a big boost um, but it's completely up to you what you want to do alternatively if this is about love life you've been on your own and happy on your own not looking you've been focused on your goals your projects your work your money, your health, your reputation, anything else other than love, okay? Because that's also what the Nine of Pentacles can be. It's where someone has everything they could possibly need except for love, but they, they may not even be looking for that, okay? And in this situation, I do feel like it might be the case. With the Hermit, there might be a Virgo individual trying to come into your life or trying to come back into your life. They may have been at a distance or they're from a foreign place, foreign culture. So again, your choice is, do you keep on focusing on yourself or do you give this a chance and try to work on the partnership? Because if this is someone coming back into your life, I feel like there's some resentment here. There's some anger here. And whatever happened in the past that hurt you, you, you're not, you haven't moved past it. You're not over it. So this is a chance to get closure from that situation. This is a chance for forgiveness, for compassion, and to re-spark something that is still there underneath the resentment, underneath the hurt. You're still hurting because there's still feelings there. Okay, so you might have the opportunity to um, forgive, get closure, and restart a chapter in a, in a better way. For others of you, I feel that you're, you're turning someone away. They're offering forgiveness, well, they're offering love, they're asking for forgiveness but you're still very much hurt and you choose to be independent. You choose not to go back to this person. Whether you forgive them or not, it doesn't matter. You're, you're choosing to be on your own and that's fine. Do whatever makes you happy. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. Um, and for others of you, I feel like you have a really good opportunity for love coming in, whether you're looking for it or not, especially if you're not looking for it, okay? I'm gonna be honest. It may come through someone you work with, you collaborate with in one way or another, um, you train with, go to school with, 
whatever the case may be. And they may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a genuine offer here that could lead to something. It's the ace, it's the potential, okay? And it's what you do with it that makes it something or nothing. But you do have a, an opportunity here, okay? If you're, if you're interested in dating or getting to know someone on a romantic level, if you wanted to get back into the dating world and get back into, um, you know, making time for romance in your life, there's an option there. There's a good option. It just depends what you want to do. I feel like you're very, very focused. You're very focused on what you've been up to and being the best you can be on your own and reaching your goals and being very successful actually. So it's almost like, well, you know what? I don't I don't need this. I've been doing very well on my own. So if I am going to open myself up to something or someone, it's got to be worth it. I'm not allowing anyone to hold me back. I'm not allowing anyone to pull me down. Because I'm very happy with what I've accomplished by myself. Okay? For some, this is about graduating from some sort of training or some sort of test period, trial period, or whatever. You're graduating, it's coming to completion, you've learned a lot from it, and you get a, a really good job as a result, or there's promotion as a result, and you can just apply everything you've learned, and you are very well rewarded for it, okay? You're impressing the right all the right people, and this could be an overflow of appreciation, money, rewards, multiple opportunities that come as a result of you getting this degree, diploma, whatever. Okay? So it's really good. It's all good. It's in your hands. Whatever you want to do, you can do at this time. Okay? Um, so let me know what this is about for you, Libra. It's really, really nice. Um, remember to watch all your signs. Make the most of this energy. It's gorgeous. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.